Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about evaluation of discrete convolution. Okay, so the convolution sum can be easily implemented to obtain closed form results if x of n and h of n have simple analytical expressions. Fine. So before going towards the evaluation, you should know about the u of n and the causal signal. right and few points that we have already covered in the past so basically u of n is what a causal signal and if you see the definition of u of n so u of n is one when the value of n is greater than equal to 0 and 0 when n is smaller than 0 right this is what the behavior of u of n clear and one more point that we have already covered so you should be aware about that point also that a non causal signal can be converted to causal signal by multiplying the non causal signal by a unit step signal u of n so you should be aware about this point then it is easy for you to understand okay so what is this h of n so this h of n is called as what boss impulse response am i right this is what basically impulse response and what is this x of n so this x of n is what the input right input sequence it is input sequence okay now when now when you focus here so basically when evaluating the convolution sum it is important to remember that x of m and h of n minus m depends upon what boss it depends upon summation variable it depends upon summation variable m am i right when you go for the convolution of this two means x of n convolution of x of n and h of n you remember the basic formula so the basic formula was what this right h of n minus m where the limit of m ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity we have already seen this things so that is what i am saying when evaluating the convolution sum it is important to remember that x of m and h of n minus m depends on the summation variable m clear okay fine let's go to the next now for causal signals of the form suppose you have the causal signals of the form x of n into u of n and h of n into u of n so so for the causal signals in the form of x of n into u of n and h of n into u of n the summation involves what so the summation involves step functions u of m and u of n minus m now you should be aware about the behavior of u of n and u of n minus m so let's talk about the behavior of this two unit step functions so basically you know what this step functions can be used to simplify the lower and upper limits of the summation so since u of n equals to 0 for m less than 0 and u of n minus m is equal to 0 for m greater than n we can set the lower limit of the summation to m is equal to 0 and the upper limit of summation to m is equal to n so the lower limit we can set to m is equal to 0 and the upper limit we can set to what what boss m is equal to n so that is the conclusion from here hope this much is 
clear to you fine now let's go further and derive the different formulas fine okay so for a causal system what is the condition for a causal system h of n should be zero for n is smaller than zero and for a causal input x of n should be equal to zero for n smaller than zero right so if h of n is what if h of n is the impulse response if it is the impulse response and x of n is what basically the input right then then we are going to derive the formula to calculate the response okay so the limits in the convolution sum can be adjusted based on the type of sequence and the type of system you have taken okay so let's go and understand that so basically if so for a non causal system excited by a non causal input okay so here the input is also non causal and the system is also non causal so in this case your y of n will become what this will be equal to summation of x of m into h of n minus n okay where where the limit of m ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity okay and it is equal to what we can write it as what summation of h of m into x of n minus m okay where the limit of m ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity hope you are aware about the commutative property fine so this is what a formula that you can use to calculate y of n for a non causal system excited by a non causal input fine now let's go further and check for a non causal system excited by a causal input so in this case y of n will be equal to what summation of x of m okay boss into h of n minus m okay where the m okay the input is what causal input so the m will start from 0 to infinity in this particular case okay and you can also write this as equal to summation of h of m into x of n minus m in this case the limit of m will be from minus infinity to n okay so you should remember this next so now the next system is what so for a causal system excited by a non causal input so in this case y of n will be equal to what summation of x of m into h of n minus m clear where the limit of m ranges from minus infinity to n and you can also write it as summation of h of m into x of n minus m where the limit of m ranges from 0 to infinity in this case clear okay fine now let's go to the next and the last case where the system is also causal and the input is also causal and this is one of the most important thing because the numericals will come on this only so if so for a causal system excited by a causal input the y of n will be equal to what whatever limit we have calculated remember so it will be summation of x of n x of m into h of n minus m where the limit of m ranges from 0 to n right that is what we have calculated and you can also write it as summation of x of sorry h of m now h of m into x of n minus m where the limit of m ranges from again 0 to n so this formula this four combinations you have to remember so no need to remember anything mainly remember this last one and 
we have already calculated that how the limit becomes 0 to n. So if you know this and if you know the general expression, you are good to go. Okay, you can solve any of the numerical by the help of these examples or by the help of these combinations. So hope it is clear to you. If you still have any doubt in evaluation of discrete convolution, you can ask in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.